I remember those days when we first started talking about doing the company and doing Mystery House. And we used to sit around at night and say, gosh, if this game would ever sell just 10,000 copies. I mean, that was kind of the magic number we had in mind. Then um, that would allow us to move out of L.A. We could live kind of happily ever after because we weren't going for um, you know, a big house or nothing. We just wanted a log cabin in the woods. He got his, uh, his first Apple computer back in 1979, 1980, and uh, brought home a little game called Colossal Cave, a little um, text adventure game. And I started playing it, and this sort of gave me the idea that, you know, I could try doing this. I think at the time we thought, well, if we could just earn 40000 a year, you know, we could live comfortably in the woods and, you know, and, and just work at home and work together on games. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> The truth of Mystery House is that it was the first computer game with graphics. Nobody ever really realizes that, but all computer games up until that point were all text. And it was the first computer game with graphics. Um, didn't have any animation, didn't have any sound, uh, didn't have any color. It was black and white, but it did have graphics. Success after we started Sierra came fast. I remember we shipped our first product on, uh, I think it was May 5th, 1980. and. You know, at that point it was kind of like some year this might be big enough we could leave LA and we bought our house in, um, in Yosemite in August of 1980. Right away we just we were bombarded with calls day and night. We, we just didn't realize what had happened and suddenly there were 30, 40,000 people out there with our home phone and we'd get woke up at three and four in the morning and it was just kind of around the clock and we were All the time we had nice. boxes in our house everywhere just piled with stuff. And uh, yeah, it lasted about six months. We moved to Oakhurst, and and then and then it lasted about another three months in our house. And it was just and we were starting to hire employees by this time. At that point, I said, "That's it. No secretaries are coming to work here at my house. It's time to get an office." <laughs> Roberta's parents had um, put an apple orchard in Yosemite, and um, we decided that'd be a nice place to be. I think the town grew up to about 7,000 people, but 550 were working for us in Oakhurst. We looked at our growth rate over the next few years, and they said, where are they going to live? You know, they would have, there was no way that they were going to build you know, the apartment buildings or the housing to put people in. So ultimately, we had to uh, leave Oakhurst. Been a lot of change in the industry. I remember originally there was not the sense of it being a highly competitive business, that it was more um, us and a few other companies that were trying to um, change the world through doing computer games. Every year we'd do kind of an industry raft trip and the whole industry would go rafting together. And we'd take all of our employees, go down the rivers together and throw buckets of water at each other. These days it's more of a, it's a real industry. and. Uh, you know, the goal here is to try to grab uh, two points of market share. I love my job. <laughs> I can't ask for a better job. You know, then, you know, I, I tell, uh, I told some of my son's friends, you know, that I, what I do is I, I sit around and make up things all day. It's just really fun. Yeah, we got awfully good competitors. I mean, to figure out how to do better games than they do every year is a lot of, a lot of complexity. But we do it. We do it. We've done it 15 years in a row. We'll just do it another 15 or so.